Hey, what first week? I am going to drop the back again with another episode. This will be another tiny episode. And in this episode, I will show how you can uh, create uh, add a automated subscription button link to any video of your website. Uh, that means uh, if you have a uh, YouTube channel for your website uh, for your own and if you want to get more subscriber on your channel so you can add uh, now you can add a extra feature a floating bar on each and every embedded video of your website uh, luckily how I get the idea maybe you have the question and I am giving an example so I usually visit a WP beginner wpbeginner.com to learn WordPress things so it's a uh, home ground for the WordPress lovers I think so and thanks to the team and when I visit on their site let's check this is the WP beginner and when I have visited their site I stumble upon one thing and this is the thing which I am talking about so they have a YouTube subscription pop, uh, button link on their video this is a floating button link and how they have created this thing so I search on the web and get an ex exciting thing which is also created by the creator of the WP beginner Mr. Said Balki he created a plugin which help you to add this type of subscription button link to your any what any YouTube video uh, which has been embedded on your website let's check I have uh, created a page YouTube subscribe link pop up here I have added these links so I uh, this uh, link is actually this is my YouTube channel link so that's why if you have your own YouTube channel link to so this link will be a theme so you have already uh, you don't need to subscribe to your YouTube channel so if I jump on on my incognito mode of my browser you will see uh, what happened see the link is now clickable so these videos are from my YouTube channel so this is the link which I have created and I will show how I have added the links and what you will not to do what you have not to do uh, which will uh, what if do uh, then the link will be not available in these videos so I will show how I have added this in my previous video I have another video and this link what and let's check of uh, what the link uh, the button uh, will give me to that link uh, what the uh, is that really create the pop-up link or uh, we have I have uh, already subscribed to the WP beginner channel let's check I have uh, click on the I have click, uh, clicked on the link of the button link of the floating bar of the YouTube subscribe button and then uh, the pop-up subscription link YouTube subscription pop-up link appeared so if you want to subscribe now you can subscribe but an interesting thing I like to share with you this pop-up link can be created very easily without this plugin. I have made a video on this tutorial, on this topic, a tutorial video on this topic. You have to add some uh, suffix to your YouTube channel Slack links, my YouTube link Slacks. So this link will be available also in the description and it's also pop up in that. So, so you can check uh, the video so you can create the subscription pop-up YouTube subscription pop-up link manually uh, now moving on to this new tutorial so I am not wasting the time so if you want to get this kind of pop-up subscription link to your sorry uh, each and every tutorial video what should you have to do the plugin which I have been talking about right now this is the YouTube subscribe bar created by the site Palki, the creator of the W beginner this plugin is really awesome a very simple to use I just copy the name and search on the this is the single one and one and only plugin available in the WordPress or repository so if you hit the uh, 
add new plugin section of your WordPress dashboard then just paste the name I will give the link of the of these plugin on my description you can check the a link from there and we will get the link uh, plugin from the description link so I am giving the link here and so hit the subscribe and subscribe bar what happened Let's check. Uh, this is the this is the plugin. YouTube subscribe bar created by the Mr. Side plugin. So install this plugin and I have already installed this plugin on my site, it's already activated. So for this case, you have some settings for that. You have to do some settings for your website uh, for this plugin actually. So from where you can uh, get the setting space on the this is the YouTube subscribe bar just click the button or click the link it will redirect to the subscription thing and also if you forget the anything of where you can get the thing from the settings panel of the WordPress backend you will get this setting space YouTube subscribe bar also from here you can get the setting space of this plugin in this section you have to add your channel id now where you will get your channel id let's check this is the channel id in my case it will be helpful for you as well i will show how easily you can get the channel id of your youtube channel You can directly, uh, if you remember your YouTube channel slag, then just type like that, yeah. or you can uh, visit it. Oh, sorry. Uh, maybe I made a mistake. Okay, I am uh, visiting the link from here. My internet is working slow now. I'm really very sorry for that. Oh my gosh. They have. From this icon of your browser, you can, I have to stop this. Otherwise it will start the video. Okay. From here, you can go to your YouTube channel. Just click the hover in the image of your right side, top right side. Then click your channel. See, I am now on my channel. This is the channel which uh, which is mine and this is the channel ID see this is the channel ID just copy it and paste it here see and you can customize your subscribe button layout uh, they have two options small and full small and full uh, you have already seen here I have set it small so which one is this is the one small button but if you want to say it the full is hit the save button now you will get the idea of the full button
see you get the grab order of my youtube channel my channel name and my channel bar and the more interesting thing is that you can show your subscriber count or you can hide your subscriber count it's up to you and button theme will be light or dark it's up to you you can set it by yourself this is the panel also there is an option you can set uh, the channel name and by selecting the channel name you have to give your channel name my channel name is GTARAFDARR so I have to put this but I don't want to do that I, I am happy with the channel ID then uh, you can customize the subscribe to my YouTube channel this text uh, which text is this this is the this text so you can customize it from here so you can uh, I just subscribe to my my I am just uh, subscribe my YouTube for just uh, testing purpose I am just deleting the channel it's so interactive if you change it it already reflected on a published page of my site so you can check subscribe to my youtube i just erase the channel word so this is the thing you can uh, subscribe the channel text color i have already set it white you can subscribe to check background color so you can manage it by here or you can keep it blank so it's up to you then hit the obviously every time you have to uh, if you've made any change uh, if you have made any change then uh, click the save changes button it will help you a bit you have to do that it will help you a bit and it will uh, change uh, then the reflection uh, you can see in your uh, videos now uh, this is the editing page of this section basically just uh, in this case what I will do this is my new video which I am to which I like to share with you uh, yes I want to copy the link address yes I get to copy the link this is the subscribe pop-up link creation video uh, I want to add this here So that you can easily just paste the video link in the Gutenberg now easily you can embed your video so you don't have to do anything else why I'm saying that the answer you will get now so let's check I have added a new video to this page let's see what happened see it's the floating bar automatically appeared here but in this video the floating bar is missing why this happened because I just paste a embed video link which means if I want to share this video don't play please Sorry for the delay. I just want I just want to get the embedded link of the previously we have to do this now uh, Gutenberg blog automatically uh, embed the video from your paste link. So it's uh, very much helpful if you're using a Gutenberg blog editor. So you don't need to add any HTML code to embed your YouTube video. So I'm just sharing that 
thing of which I am talking about. Uh, if you hate the say, uh, share button of your YouTube video, you will get this pop-up window. I'm sorry for the slow video, slow loading issue. I don't know what's the main issue is behind that. Maybe my RAM is eating. So this is the embed section. Come on. And this is the code. I just copy. I don't want to start the video again as it takes too much time. So in that case, if you want to embed an HTML code, you need to Sorry, my mistake. It will be uh, HTML. HTML. Oh. And after. No. HTML block. Custom HTML block. You have to pick that. Then paste the HTML code. Now see the preview video is now embedded here but unfortunately you will see the result in the front page let's check what happened now You can see now if I added the embedded code the video uh, the floating bar will not be appear in this video but if I add just copy the link from the YouTube video any kind of watch link or share link just paste it on your Gutenberg block editor it will automatically embed your WordPress uh, YouTube video and then you will get the magic of the YouTube subscriber floating bar and this is interesting so you don't have to uh, create any manual link uh, for your YouTube video and it will help you to gate a more extra subscriber I think so so as WP beginner creating these type of things and the creator of this plugin is mr. Syed Balki who is the creator of the WP beginner I think uh, this plugin will help you a bit to gate this uh, to gate um, more attraction from the subscriber as well so i i just found this there this is a fancy thing on the wp beginner uh, youtube uh, wp beginner channels so i was trying to cre recreate the thing so i found this solution and thanks to them who uh, mr side bulky who created this plugin and most of the cases you will be uh, sur uh, surprised that the link is not working the link is not working see the caution see the tooltip no need to subscribe to yourself that means uh this link is, will be deemed if uh, uh, you are logging in your youtube channel here i have already uh, um, uh logged into my youtube channel so that's why i am not getting the youtube uh getting the youtube subscription pop-up button link so this is the thing or if you want to create a subscribe pop-up link uh like this I have added a subscription pop up link. If you want to create by yourself, then on you can add your. Uh, I have a tutorial video on it, so I will give it uh, the link on the description. Check it from there and create your own YouTube subscription pop up button link for your own self. And you can add this kind of button link anywhere you can if you want to add. See, this is the pop up button link which you which is the similar to the to this uh, 
oh sorry to this page which I have already created so I will not get this I will get this here it will redirect to me the my YouTube channel but I don't have login to my channel in the incognito mode so YouTube link will be not be up here so I need to be logged in here uh, this is the thing uh, you can check it by yourself uh, by adding the things I hope this will be helpful for you as well oh, one more thing uh, why uh, how I have created uh, this section if you want to check this I have created this section with the Gutenberg block editor and the social icon default social block icon uh, social block actually uh, of the Gutenberg block editor just check it's a very easily you can add this kind and kind of button to your Gutenberg block editor with your block editor let's check uh, I'm sorry why see this is the social button link you can add more social block like uh, if you want to add Facebook just search and add see and you can customize the link uh, of this and duplicate or more things you can do from here and you just have to uh, add the link I have added the subscription link here so the link will appear here and you have to add the link here so that the Facebook page link will be available here and user can be directly a visit to their section and this is a normal uh, text block I just added this text block here and uh, you see you see how I have, it's just simple and that's made it and just and I made a group of these two section this is the group and now I am ungrouping this section and just give a gradient color to get the attraction from the users so this is very easy thing you can do it and this is the social social icon block you can change the style very easily you can do it by yourself and the links will be automatically open in the new tab so that you don't have to rel no opener or this type of things on your uh, link and you can set the size normal you can set the size small according to your need so this is the exciting features of the Gutenberg block editor so uh, this is how I have created this the section is also the section of a uh, Gutenberg block pattern in the hero section so I am not sharing this here I will share it on the another another uh, tutorial video uh, how we can uh, create uh, this type of things with a Gutenberg block editor if you want to do uh, if you want to see this type of tutorial please do a comment and if you like this tutorial video then give a thumbs up it will help me a bit to uh, create this type of things oh one more thing I forget the floating bar will not be appear in in your editing panel it will be appear in the uh, front page on the preview page or, or after publishing the video or publishing any post or page and this this uh, thing will be appear any uh, any side YouTube embed video of your website and it could be on your home site home page it could be on your anything so that might be a challenge for you if you don't want to show the bar any section for the designing purpose then you need to do something uh, CSS work to hide these type of things for ex exceptional cases but this is a very uh, handful tool as I have reviewed all the things for you so share your opinion and if you like this video then give a thumbs up and stay connected and another announcement for my uh, Facebook group this is not my this is our Facebook group the WP League Nation so if you want to join this I will give the link on the description and so that you can join there uh, and connect it with the awesome people of the WordPress they are very much helpful also I have created a Twitter handle if you are not in the Facebook then you can follow on the Twitter channel I will continuously I am sharing the YouTube uh, WordPress related job post WordPress related news and updates and the thoughts of the WordPress leaders so 
you can get the idea from them so my dear friend if you were interested to join the community then join us and make the wordpress community great again thank you for watching this video stay connected and give me a thumbs up and if you dislike my content then please 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 do comment to improve myself to help me to improve myself otherwise i can improve so thank you my dear friend stay connected stay healthy stay tuned tata bye bye see you in the next video